Hello everyone, my name is Ruku and I'm back. Yep, I'm back for some more beer because I can't stand away from beer. Interestingly, I'm going to Nigeria and before I start there apparently are two types of this. One in Nigeria and one in... Um, oh crap, I've forgotten where it was. Never mind, moving on. My memory will come back to me eventually. So there's two types of this beer. This is the Nigerian version, okay? Ah, Ghana. There you go. The other version was from Ghana. This is a Nigerian version. There's a subtle difference, evidently, between the ingredients that they use in this beer. So this then is called Gouda, or Gilda, however you want to pronounce that. I think that's Gouda. Uh, nice decorated bottle there, just with the words Gouda. Again, you've got this foil on the on the top there, which is kind of cool. Haven't seen any decoration in a bottle in a while. Uh, this is a 500 mil, and I don't know if you can see that, but just there, it says there 5.2. So, uh, notice there as well, so there's some in there. First of all, appearances looks fantastic, and uh, yep, the head is overflowed. This then has its own hat. Streamingly good bubbles, I mean the carbonation is just constant, forever, flowing, decent colour. Light golden colour, which is nice. Uh, and I haven't done this for a while, and I do apologise for any cap enthusiasts. There you go. It's just the words Gorda, the ultimate, with a knight's head on it, and uh, some leafing. Right, so, I'm just going to quickly swallow some of this, and just get rid of this cause before I start, because I can't dive in with that. There we go, that looks a bit better. Uh, just tasting that on that there, the head there is uh, very, very foamy and very bitter. Extremely bitter. Not a big lover of that. It's a hoppy bitterness to it, I don't like it. So, I'm now going to get on with the smells and uh, see what I can dish out from this Nigerian beer. And uh, interestingly, I must just say, apparently all these years I've been trying the wrong Nigerian beer. There is another Nigerian beer called Star, and uh, it's very watery, very bland, not not very good. And apparently every Nigerian male that I have spoken to has always steered me towards this beer. So I'm hoping this is the better beer out of the two. So, let's see if those Nigerian men were correct. To Nigeria. Oh, wow. Really strong smells there. It smells of uh, like a strong, I don't know, strong aromas of, of of corn caramel, a little bit of grass and hop. Yeah, yeah, it smells quite strong. There's very strong flavours of, as I say, of caramel uh, and hop. And a little bit of grass as well, so it's, it's it's very very well well done on the smells there. Already ticking a few boxes in in my mind. So uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's try some Nigerian beer to Nigeria. Wow, okay. Surprisingly, wasn't expecting that. I was expecting this beer on appearances, and I'm only judging on the appearance to be very hoppy, very dry, very bitter. Hell no, it's the complete opposite. It's quite sweet, um, well balanced, watery, but at the same time, weirdly enough, it's got a strength to it. And the strength is in the body. And uh, I like that. So yeah, the strength in the body is good, but um, it's very sweet as well. You get this nice sweetness. It's like a sweet malt. Now, when you get a little bit of the head there, things mix up and change a lot. You then get this bitterness followed by the sweet rush. Um, 
it hasn't got bad flavours. I mean, the flavours could do a little bit more. The aftertaste is quite sweet. Um, again, I'm picking up on the cornish and that sort of straw sort of taste to it. There's a nice light malt as well, and surcose as well, like a syrupy surcose that's coming through. And again, I'm a big fan of, of sweet beers. Uh, I've got a real bad sweet tooth, so for me this is quite nice. But for other people, I don't know, you could say it lacks a little bit. The lacing is very, very good. Sticks to the glass well all the way around, and that's what we like. The head, you'll notice now, has gone down a little bit. But yeah, very good. Again, and I've already said this, but it's that kind of light body that, that isn't too bad for what it is, you know? Just topping myself up there. That's all the rest of the beer. I mean, it is it is a good beer. I, I quite like this. Um, better than Star, so if anyone out there's had the Nigerian beer Star, uh, I find this is a lot better. It's got more taste to it, more body, more strength in the flavour. It's also got a hoppiness to it, and it's it's malty, which it's strong. A lot of the beer itself is only, what, 5.2, is it? We got a 5.2? Yep, we got a 5.2. So, again, I'm finding that this beer itself, in the flavour, is extremely strong, well-balanced. I generally quite like it. There's no bitterness as such on the aftertaste. It's just purely in the head. <coughs> Woo! And if I burp, it's a sign of a good beer, ladies and gentlemen. So, as I was saying, again, this has got lots of characteristics. Good strength to the beer. Good body. Very well-balanced. And you can kind of get two flavours as well. So if you drink through the head, you get the bitterness with the sweetness. If you don't drink the head and you avoid that, you just get the sweetness. Um, so, yeah, there's two ways of, in my mind of drinking this. I mean, what, what, what would you prefer? I don't know. So then, my Nigerian cousins. What would I score you? Uh, well. I would, I would, I would, uh, I would quite happily... I don't know. I, I really don't know. I mean, I'm going to stick my neck on the line here. I like this, but for other people, I think they might find that it, it lacks a little bit of flavour. It's just a stand average beer to them. Um, but I would rate this as about a 7. I think other people might rate it a little bit lower. But for me personally, I quite like it, so I'm going to go for a 7. So uh, I'm sticking my neck out on the line there. I know I'll probably get a few people disagree with me. Telling me this is not their thing, but I don't mind this. This is better than Star by a long, long way. And also, before I wrap this up, I just want to show you the thickness of this bottle. I mean, what is going on with the thickness of that? Look at it. Just massive. You better get your hands around it. Anyway, that's all from me, fans. Join me next time when I'll be doing some more beer reviews and hopefully picking out something that you too can enjoy. So like, subscribe, and comment. And join me next time for some more beer.